Welcome to Electrical Engineering Channel. Please don't forget to subscribe and turn on the notifications to don't miss our upcoming videos. Lockout tagout is more than just putting a yellow lock on the main electrical disconnect to a machine or part of a machine. There are seven very important steps you must do when putting lockout tagout in place. Seven steps for shutdown. 1. Notify. Notify all affected employees that you are going to be conducting a lockout tagout. 2. Prepare before you begin. Be sure you know all the types of energy involved, hazards presented by energy, and how to control the energy. 3. Shut down, turn off machine or equipment. 4. Isolate, isolate machine or equipment from its energy sources. For example, turn off main circuit breaker. 5. Lockout, apply your lock. Be sure that it holds the isolating device in the off or safe position. 6. Release, release stored energy. Relieve, disconnect, restrain, block, or otherwise ensure that all energy sources, electrical, mechanical, hydraulic, compressed, shard energized. Seven. Verify try the on off switch or other controls to be sure the machine won't start. Return the switch to the off position. When you are done, there are three very important steps you must do when removing a machine from a lockout tagout state. Three steps for restart 1. Inspect. Inspect the equipment to be sure that a. All tools and other materials are removed. b. Machine is fully reassembled. c. Guards and other safety devices are reinstalled. 2. Notify. Be sure that a. All employees are safely positioned. b. All affected employees are notified of the restart. 3. Remove, remove lockout devices. Remember that only the person who put the lock on, may remove it.